Friendship House Association of American Indians, Inc. of San Francisco, California has been successfully providing healing services to American Indians for 44 years. As the proud recipient of many awards and commendations for the consistently high quality of services they deliver, Friendship House is fully licensed and certified by the State of California as well as accredited by the National Commission on the Accreditation of Rehabilitation Facilities. Created in 1963 to help Indians newly arriving in the San Francisco Bay Area from their reservations as a result of the government relocation program, Friendship House initially was a cultural and social service center for American Indians. When serious urban programs greeted the new arrivals as they experienced culture shock, discrimination in employment and housing, poverty, crime, and alcohol and drug problems, Friendship House responded with support, assistance, and a clean and sober community center. The Friendship House has always been about a family, and that's why we call our program Friendship House American Indian Healing Center, is because it's been about the family getting together and getting better together. Making this facility what it is today and having the Friendship House Lodge where women and children can go and you know, learn recovery together and be able to be together as a family and heal together. Uh, and so what Friendship House really, I guess to me, is people not only Indian people, but people in general. Helping people uh, who are in, uh, in great need. The Friendship House Healing Center is now an 80-bed residential facility in San Francisco's Mission District that offers the entire spectrum of alcoholism, drug abuse, and behavioral health services. The organization also operates a site in Oakland for pregnant women and mothers with their young children. Friendship House has, has been an inspiration for me. It has saved my life in many different ways. It has brought my son and myself closer. The day that I got my son back, um, which was 30 days after I had been in the house, I'd moved to Oakland to the Women's Lodge where I was reunited with my son again. And it was the happiest day of my life just to see his little smile on his face, to see me and to hold me and it it really touched my heart to see my son again. And when I got here, I looked up those stairs and I looked at my mom and I said, I don't know if I want to do this. You know, I was 25 years old when I came here. I knew I'd had enough, but I didn't think so because of my age. I, I'm still young yet. You know, I still got some more mileage on me. And uh, she said, you know, do it for me. So at, when I, when I, the first moment that I walked in that door, I was doing it for my mother. And I'm thankful I did, because that changed while I was there. I did it for me. Treatment lasts from six months up to one year. Our notably high success rate is based on providing American Indian culturally relevant treatment methods, such as Red Road, along with proven addiction treatment methodology. In the first year of being clean and sober, um, I felt good about myself. I regained my health, um, my will to actually live uh, without the use of drugs and alcohol. And, uh, you know, it's just an inspiration to see all these other people come to the program and actually make it. I didn't know that I could heal. I didn't know that I could feel better. I didn't know that I could stop drinking. I didn't know that I could stop using. But coming in here into the program, um, it, it's made me realize how beautiful and to love myself you know one of the things is learning to love myself and I have to love myself before I can love others Friendship House serves clients of all tribes with 40 percent of clients coming from California for one thing we always recognize and uh, honor the our relatives out here, the California Indian people, live up and down the coast here. And also, as a result of the Relocation Act, most of our, like you said, most of our relatives were located out here and were disconnected from the, from the uh, relatives in the reservation. But that helped them in a lot of ways uh, to 
pull together even more. Living on a reservation is completely different than coming to the cities because reservation is all about family. You're on the reservation, you're, you're surrounded by your families. When you come into the city, you're pretty much by yourself. That without recovery, without being clean and sober, I think a, a lot of what the tribe and what the families on the reservation, on and off, it's impossible to live healthy. Being so far away from home, I guess, you know, coming from the reservation to a, a big city, all the noises, all the people, um, that was hard to adjusting. American Indian owned and run, it is governed by a primarily American Indian board of directors and directed by co-founder and now chief executive officer, Helen DeVore Wakazu. The majority of staff and clinical providers are also American Indian and having a medicine people on our staff and having spiritual people on our staff is it's been a, a big plus for us because that's what it takes to for people to really get themselves together in a good way. Friendship House, um, there's a lot of love here and you know the counselors don't make you do the work you have to do the work if you want to be sober it's up to you all the counselors here it's like a big support for you and they're here to push you along, and if you fall, get them, dust yourself off, and keep going. What Friendship House then does is, and the people who work in Friendship House do, I think, is they begin to build a cultural attachment that begins spiritually first, and then adds the cultural accoutrements later. And Many people are brought up with the sense that their heritage is something to be ashamed of. Obviously, we here disagree with that. We think that it's something to be very proud of. And what we try to do as a program is to help people reconnect to what is a spiritual home uh, that's rooted in their own family's history and their own identity um, while addressing the need to to be clean and sober as well. What I do know for sure is that you give what you got and what I had when I got here was was unhealthiness, horrible depression, you know, I was very abusive because that's what I knew and um, I didn't want to keep giving that to to my children. I didn't want to allow, I, I was like everything against my own heart when I got through to that door and what has happened in these last five and a half years is I have changed. I am totally who I should be in life. I am that strong Native American Indian woman. I am proud and I believe in myself today. When I came into Friendship House, it was uh, five, five months later, I lost my son, my only son. And with the help of the counselors and everybody helped me through it. And I was strong enough at that time not to fall back into my addiction. Clients benefit from a full array of services that complement Friendship House's treatment and recovery services. Um, but what I see is that it, it's a great opportunity for a lot of them to learn so, so to speak, some of the Western cultural ideals as well, because they're going to have to function sometimes off the reservation, um, where they're going to have to be able to go to school, be able to get a job, be able to communicate at job interviews, um, and also be able to master some of the social services. So we utilize that kind of as, as an advantage here at Friendship House of kind of enmeshing both of those worlds together. In addition to providing a structured, intensive treatment program, Clients are offered health education and referral to health dental services, recreational programs, cultural and spiritual education, and counseling by American Indian traditional counselors, employment and life skills training, educational assistance, an alumni support program, and ongoing clean and sober community events. Um, Friendship Health helped me get the skills that I needed to live every single day clean and sober. I mean, going to groups and going to meetings, doing one-on-one -on -one counseling, that all helped me to live every day clean and sober.
Friendship House also runs a youth program for American Indian youth with their families, which offers tutoring for academic achievement, traditional American Indian dance and regalia classes, recreational activities, arts programs including photography and writing, and leadership training. We have so many talented young people, and particularly we have a lot of people who are interested in the arts, for example. Um, and we recently had a cohort of young American Indians who were learning photography uh, from professional photographer and, and doing their own work and were able to exhibit that in a gallery in the financial district. My phase two has been a it's been a challenging aspect of, of my recovery because um, in phase two we're more, we got more leniency to going out and looking for employment or going to school and, and, and pretty much being on our own. And, and, and to me that's been trust. I've been given trust you know, by the program. Emphasizing traditional American Indian values of respect, family, and honor, Friendship House gives hope and healing to American Indians who have lost their way because of their alcohol and drug problems, showing them that they can follow the Red Road with the proper treatment and return to their families and communities with tools to support healthy, productive, and balanced lives. It's more than just a recovery home, you know, it's more than just a drug and treatment program, although that's what it is. But like the sign says up in the front, it's a healing center. Basically what I was striving for in my life was to be a person among people instead of a tornado tearing people apart. And the Friendship House showed me how to do that. And for that, I'm forever grateful. You know, we as Native people, we are strong people. You know, the Creator has blessed us. And we are strong people, but a lot of us don't know how strong we are. And I really want to encourage those out there that we can do it that you can do it, that our family can do it, it's time to heal. If Friendship House wasn't here for me, I, I would be dead. You're just not going to make it in, in a world where there's no support. Friendship House is proud of its proven record and legacy, as evidenced in hundreds of American Indians and their families in California and across the nation who have utilized Friendship House services and have something to say in their own words about the program.